Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Big Jim with Big Jim Fishing. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. My last video was about Phoenix Boat live wells. And I said on the video to check my channel because I had a video on how to clean out the live wells and realized I don't have one. I went through, let's see, I think I got 80 something videos now and I thought I had done one, but I had not. So today, I'm gonna to show y'all how to clean out your live wells. So stay tuned. All right guys, we're up in the boat and uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove my cull tags and I'm gonna put them in a bucket and then I'm gonna remove the screens and the plugs and put them in the bucket with a little bit, just a little bit of Dawn soap. And the reason why is cause it is safe. Uh, no, no chemicals that would hurt anything. Matter of fact, they use Dawn to clean wildlife when they get oil on them. So yeah, here we go. Yeah, so I'm up in the boat and I got my brother-in-law Steve here, who y'all seen on many videos. He's gonna be the filmer, so here we go. And then I'm just going to do the other side. They just screw off. It's important to do this because you need to uh, clean your screens. And I'm also going to do the ones underneath the boat. You clean your screens because that's where you get a build up. And plus you want to be able to wash the scales out. So now all I do so I just do a quick rinse down in the live well. And then try to get those scales and stuff and any debris, crawfish legs or whatever, to wash down. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, you can see I threw all my parts in this bucket with a sponge. And I bought one of these sponge that I only use for my live well. That's the only thing I use it for. So, gonna add just a drop Dawn. And then we're gonna fill it up with water. All right, once I got a little bit of water in there, I'm just gonna let that soak for a little while. And the next thing I'm gonna do is get up under the boat and take those screens off for your intakes. And that's gonna be hard, so I'm gonna turn the camera off for that. All I'm doing here is I got me a little bristle brush, and these were the intakes that were uh, in either the live well or under the boat. I think the ones under the boat are a little smaller, but just get yourself a brush and after they've soaked a little while, give them a little, little clean to clean out any debris. Then I just put them back in there and let them soak. Also, it's a good time while you're at it to uh, your coal tags, you know, they get debris on them. It's a good time to clean them up a little bit. All right, now I got all my pieces cleaned. And I just got them sitting here on the driveway. I got a little bit of water and then I got my live well sponge in here and it does have a little bit of Dawn in there. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. But now I'm gonna get up in the boat and I'm gonna use that sponge and clean out the scales. Now, if you have a wet shop vac, 
that's probably going to be the easiest way to do it but i do not have one so i'm going to get up in there with my sponge and get all the debris out of right around where the drain hole is and i took this sponge and then was able to get in there clean all the uh, scales and crawfish parts out i did just a little quick wipe down but uh got all the debris out so in a minute i'll put the plug in and then we'll do a clean inside of here now that the debris out now i've got to go over here and clean out the debris on this side all right now i got this side clean all right so next we're going to uh put these screens back in the live well and the drain plugs and i'm going to add just a little bit of dawn and just a little bit of hydrogen peroxide but before i do that i want to come over here to my bucket that i've cleaned out put a little bit of hydrogen peroxide in there and i'm going to put on my call tags And the screens that go on the outside of the boat underneath the motor in there and and we're gonna give it some water to let them soak in that hydrogen peroxide and then my floats Just let that sit so next we're gonna get up in the boat we're gonna put our screens in put our plugs in and then we'll add solution to clean it you know guys it's hot and sunny out here and I wanted to show y'all my FL1 solar bats they float their prescription bifocals progressive and they got a strap on it to keep it on your head when you're running down the lake. These have a moss green tint lens. And if y'all saw on my video uh, that I did last time when I was out on the Old Hickory Lake uh, showing how to use live wells, the water on Old Hickory has a green tint. Well, these moss green tint lenses allow me to penetrate and see deeper into the water than regular gray lenses would and the cool thing about these you know you can wear them running down the lake because they got a strap that hold them on and if they do fall out into the water they float and then you know with the neon green you'll be able to see them in the water but yeah thanks for letting me take care of the housekeeping let's get back to cleaning the live wells now when you reinstall your live well screens the one with the gray bottom goes in the very bottom and the one with the black goes on top so i got those in and the plug in let me put them in on this side and we will continue all right we got our screens and our plug i'm going to take a little drop of dawn just a little Just a little. And let's fill up the live well. So fill up both live wells all the way to the overflow. You can see that live well's full and it's starting to pour out of the overflow. And I wanted to show you guys where that was. So let's turn our water off and switch to the other side. All right, we got that one full. Now we're gonna fill up this side. And while I was waiting for them to fill up, I put the screens back on underneath and you can see my overflow is starting to run out. So. 
let's turn the water off. Make sure you got your power on for your batteries. Turn your master power on. That doesn't have much soap in it, so I'm gonna add a little more to that side. But now that we got water in here, let's add some hydrogen peroxide and be liberal. It's not gonna hurt anything. I'm going to use a half a bottle. All right, so we're done with that. Now, I recommend you close your live wheel lids. And turn it to recirculate. And what that's going to do, it's going to draw air in going to recirculate in your live well if you put too much dawn it'll foam over but the main thing what we're doing now is cleaning the lines for recirculate and then when we're done when we pump it out that'll clean the pump out line but we're going to let them recirculate for probably about i don't know I'm probably going to do it for about 20 minutes. And then after after that 20 minutes, I'll turn the pumps off. I'm going to get in here with my sponge, wipe down all the walls, wipe down the lid here and the inside, get it all clean. And then we're going to pump it out. And, fit, and then after it's all pumped out, we're going to fill it up with clean water and do the same routine again. Fill it all the way up, turn the recirculate on for a while, let it cl uh, clean out the lines, and then drain it. I'm gonna go through that process two or three times to get it good and clean and get all the soap out. All right, now that I've had it running for about 20 minutes, I'm gonna turn the recirculate off and I'm gonna pump out both sides to get it down about halfway. You can see we're pumping out both live wells. That's the soapy water with hydrogen peroxide. It's good for the lines. And once it gets down, about halfway, I'm going to take my trusty sponge, which I've already cleaned, and I'm going to go in there and just wipe down the walls on both sides. Then I'm going to pump it out. Okay, now that I've pumped all the water out, I went in and pulled each of the drain plugs, and I'm going to take my hose and I'm going to wash the inside get all around get up top around the where it shoots in wash all of that while the drain plug is full so it'll drain all right so now I'm going to let that drain down and you can see there's a little bit of residual uh, debris. I'm going to take this rag and wipe it out and then rinse it out in the bucket 
until I get it where it's clean. So that's my next step. All right, I put my drain plugs back in on both sides. And now I'm gonna fill it up all the way until it's running through the overflow. And when I do that, then I'm gonna turn the recirculate pump on for about 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna pump it out. And I'm gonna do that on both sides at the same time. And I'm gonna do it two times and then we'll be done. All right, we're on our last time of filling it up with water and recirculate. It's good to let it run, let it uh, clean out all the hoses and everything, make sure you've got no soap. The hydrogen peroxide will not hurt your live wells, even if you had residual in there. But uh, yeah, we're gonna let it run a little bit more and then we'll drain them and we'll be done. Here's a little tip for you guys, you know, we're we're recirculating in there, but a little tip would be keep you some hydrogen peroxide in your garage, you know, near where you park your boat. I keep mine right here. And uh, when you get back from a fishing trip, open up your live wells, put a little splash in each one, because you know how phoenixes get that little bit of residual down in the live well. Just splash some in there, let it sit. Leave your live well lids open when you have it in your garage. And then the next time you go to the lake, fill up your live well or fill it half full, whatever you wanna do. Turn it on recirculate, let that hydrogen peroxide get in there and then pump it out and you're ready to go. That's a good way to maintain a good bacteria free live well. Now that we're done with our last cycle of recirculating clear water, I'm pumping out both live wells to finish off the job. You can see they're pretty doggone clean. And it's important to keep your live wells clean, fellas. Uh, it'll hurt your fish. And uh, the reason why I'm doing it, you can see I got on my sun hat. It's hot, it's August. And it seems like every year the BFL Super Tournament happens right at the end of summer which for us, it is October 1st. So that means, you know, halfway through the month of September, around September 15th, 14th, I wanna be hitting the lake every day. And I wanna make sure, you know, my live wells don't develop a lot of bacteria. After uh, I washed all my coal tags, I laid them out to sit in the sun because the sun's the best sanitizer. So, we're gonna get them and put them back up in there. And once that, once that's done, I'm gonna close the lids and then I'm gonna wash the outside. You can see my lake, Old Hickory. Look at that scum line I get. And it spots up my trailer. So I try to wash my boat about once a month and I try to wipe it down every time. But the last time the water was so nasty, I didn't wipe it down because I knew I was gonna do this. but. Hey guys, that's how to clean your live wells in the Phoenix. I appreciate y'all watching the video, how to wash the live wells in your Phoenix, keep them nice and clean. And uh, hey, we'll see you guys on the next video. Bam.